Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So in the last episode we finally destroyed the expeditionary force and we started the main mission. So our plan for now is to go through the main mission and see where that takes us. Uh, before we do that however we have acquired quite a lot of capital so we might want to expand our mining fleet. In fact that is exactly what I want to do. What are you doing? What are you doing? I just have to check what this ship is doing. It doesn't actually allow me to select it. Let's see here. You are, at the moment, docking. Oh, you're at station. Okay, that explains the weird behavior. Okay, so let's buy some ships. Medium sized. Wait a minute. Maybe we don't want a medium ship. Maybe we want a big old ship. Let's see if we can afford it. We want a large mineral miner. Let's see here. No, we definitely can't afford it. All right, so let's buy, uh, buy a couple of uh, medium ships. Then. Maybe when we get richer we will buy buy a large ship so all around all around some shields uh, a couple of mining drills uh, maybe a couple of poles lasers uh, docking computer flight assist long range basic scanner and trading computer a captain and one service crew member. That's 4.3k or 436,000. We're gonna add that and we're gonna buy two. Let's confirm. Alright, so we're gonna dock here in the meanwhile and we are going to pick up some things. So let's go into the Scruffin farm. And let's stock. Successfully docked. Let's get up. Hello. We are pleased to welcome you aboard. And let's go see if we can't uh, find what we're supposed to pick up. We need to go to the docking bay. And there it is. That's an interface unit. Very good. I see you have found the device. This will allow me to monitor your activity and perform experiments remotely. Please keep it safe. All right. Oh my. It seems your pulse is elevated. You must be very excited to take part in this expedition. I'm glad. Oh yeah, I'm absolutely so, riveting. Shall we begin? I will attempt to direct you in the best way possible. Shaking. With me. Shaking with excitement. So let's undock. So let's see. I don't expect you've spoken with too many Boron before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Bozo Tar, and it is a pleasure. I do wish it were in person, but my current situation is quite precarious. You must be quite curious on what a lonely old Boron is trying to achieve. There are still so many mysteries and unanswered questions. Are spaceflies sentient? Where are the lost Boron systems? Is faster than light telepathy possible? It is our task to push the physics of this universe to the breaking point and see if it answers any of those questions. My current employers only seem happy when my research results in novel weapon modifications. Very curious people, those split. I do hope they move me to a new tank soon. My tentacles grow weak. Alright, we're just gonna wait until our ships uh, are finished. Is it's been such a long time since we have had news of it. 
Yeah, we'll probably find out in the next expansion. So I won't wait until my ships are finished and give them their orders. So you, I want to head over here. And you, I want to go for some information, behavior. You are going to sector auto mine for silicon, I think. In Heart of Acrimony, yeah. So you're gonna do that. Let's go back to the list. Let's see, you are. Let's see, you. You are flying over there, so we'll just have to keep a lookout on this one. Uh, he should, should call us when he is done with his missions. So let's go over here and wait for the call from the miner, and then we'll set him to work, and then we'll probably just be set to, yeah, just have a nice, nice little passive income on its, on the side. So getting close to where I detected an anomaly. Could you please try using the long range scanner to search for an anomaly in this vicinity? Alright. Not finding much of an anomaly. And it seems we're gonna have to fight, so... Uh... Oh damn, we got a free ship. I might want that, actually. Oh god, we're getting so many free ships. And there we are. So how do we actually capture this? So we need to have personnel on board. Uh, we might have to capture it manually. Awaiting orders. Ah, you know what, I can't be bothered. I'm gonna do it later. Um, so you are done with this, so remove all orders. Let's go for information, behavior. You are going to sector auto mine for I'm thinking silicon in this sector. Yeah, let's go. Um, so let's go a bit further up here. Aha, and there it is. There it is. Much like the jump gates. I suggest you mark the location of the anomaly on your map. So, how adventurous do you feel today? Thanks to my research, I do have a fair idea of... Can you hear me? It took a moment to realign the frequency. Oh. It's just as I thought. You have made it through the anomaly and emerged in a distant region. Your location is actually of great interest to me. I have managed to pull sensor logs from passing ships to help further my work. I highlighted this as a prime location for my research, should I ever get the chance. While the previous anomaly is interesting, 
My findings point to something else here, which I expect will lead to a groundbreaking discovery. Allow me to guide you to a particular area. All right. So, but before we do that, I actually want to take a look at my um, trading ship. Because you are currently not doing anything. Yeah, you're just done. Um, so let's uh, actually have you make some purchases here. Actually, this is still a killer deal. So yeah, we're definitely going to do this a couple more times. Like at least, at least three times. And there we are. It seems uh, that our hull is actually regening automatically. Might be because we have a uh, service personnel on board. Because we took a bit of damage in that last fight, but it seems to be regenerating on its own, which is absolutely noise. So let's go through here. And the game is auto-saving for us, we all know that's a great thing, because I will die if not. Entering system, grand exchange. And here we are. So, let's see what kind of uh, location of interest this is. I, I, I think this will come as no surprise for anyone who's played the main mission before, but let's just go through the motions. Apparently they've added some new stuff, um, so let's see what kind of stuff that would be. So here we are. I am currently evaluating what equipment we will need to make the most of this location. Space here is wounded with a scar in its fabric which seems to have healed multiple times. There is no record of any abnormal activity in these sites. To everyone else, this is simply an empty area of space. In my search for signals from long lost boron, I have detected multiple scars in space which continue to spew a multitude of particles and radiation. In a bustling sector such as this, it would only be seen as background noise. However, some of the noise seems to have artificial form. I see. We are going to tear this scar wide open and peer inside. Of course, the universe is a fickle thing. One miscalculation, and we may well destroy the whole system. Such stakes make this all the more exciting. Psychopath. Get started, allow me to reimburse you for your help so far. I do hope the split don't mind me using their credit account to help fund our venture. Yes, give me money. More. Now, the experiment. You will first need to place a satellite around this area in order for us to better understand its nature and how best to provoke the anomaly. I suggest you okay. also deploy a resource probe so that we can see how the anomaly has affected the local environment. You should be able to acquire these deployable items from stations which offer upgrades. I know a 
of such a station near your location. I will add the information to your map. Great. Let's scroll for traveling mode and where is the station in question? It's here. So let's go to the wharf. Yep. We need to go through here. And if we can, I want to see if they offer a better shield generator, because in split space we were only able to buy a single level one shield generator for this ship, and that's uh, kind of um, kind of bad. I want at least a level two one. That way the upgrades we will do through research will actually mean something. Now let's see. Grand Exchange for... Uh, my frame rate just went to shit, so let's hope that comes back online. Uh, yeah, it seems to be a bad frame rate. I hope this recording will still be fine. Because uh, recording has been really, really tough on this computer. I don't really know why. I'm getting, like, overall pretty good frame rates. Uh, I've tried limiting the frame rate OBS takes to 30 now. Uh, to see if that helps. I also um, made the CPU a bit faster. Um, but I, I guess we'll see. I don't really know. Because I don't know what's causing the slowdowns. So uh, it's it's difficult for me to, um, to fix it. But oh well. So I need to buy a satellite and a resource probe. Let's hope I do not forget, because I have a tendency to forget such things. And we're just making more and more money. Ah, it's beautiful. Let's see if we can avoid crashing into the asteroids. That would be nice. And we can. Entering system, 18 billion. And we're already over a million again. I do like the music in this game. So let's see here. So let's buy to meet face to face. I do hope you can bring me some fresh tofu. The nuggets the split give me are more stale than their humor. So let's go over. Oh no no no! Hello. My brain is doing an oopsie. Let's see, we're gonna upgrade. Let's see here. So first, let's see for shields. Yeah, we can indeed buy a Mark II. We want that. 
and we want some consumables specifically we want let's just buy five resource probes and five satellites add to shopping list and confirm it will be done in a minute in the meanwhile let's have a look at the map Yeah, that's not really important. Just uh, ignore it. Who found something? Who's waiting? No one's waiting. That's good. All right. And now we have a Mark II shield. Things are going well for us. Let's enter travel mode. Uh, let's just uh, discover the stations while we're here. There's never anything wrong with having more intel. And there we are. Let's turn this ship around and let's go to the jump gate. And there we are. And the game is auto-saving for me. This is fantastic. Because we all know I die almost every episode. Haven't died in the couple of last episodes though. So I'm kinda proud of myself for that. Entering system. Grand exchange. Regarding the space duck of Namek, a creature so majestic, it brings even the split to tears. I've heard my captor speaking of it in passing. I actually haven't heard that dialogue before. I wonder if that's new.
here we are. Grand Exchange One. And here we are. The placement must be precise. All right. So are we within the sphere? Maybe. Let's go a bit further this way. Like so. Let's deploy a satellite. Ah, good work. I'm receiving a much clearer signal from the tear. Almost immediately, I can see that there are far more gravimetric shears here compared to any other anomaly ever documented. That indicates mass, but of what? This shows some similarities with a jump gate event horizon, but there is something else. Could it be a temporal distortion? Perhaps dimensional? Very interesting. Would you please deploy a resource probe in this specified area? I'm curious of this environment. So let's go up here. We need to deploy a resource probe. You will now be able to see the yields of the resources in the area, should you wish to extract them. As for our research, it seems that nearby objects are covered in exotic particles, possibly spewed from the anomaly. I hate to be a bother, but I have an idea on how to proceed. We will need a ship to be flown to a very precise location near the anomaly. If we fit the ship with the right equipment, we may be able to open the tear wider and have a better idea of what is on the other side. So we need to deliver a suitable ship. Okay, so we need some antimatter cells. Let's see if we have some stations that sell antimatter cells. Uh, antimatter converters, no. We do have, ah, so they've uh, marked a station for us here that we can buy them from. So I'm going to order a ship from the Tlali Wharf. It's going to be a small ship. Uh, it's going to be a scout. It's going to be the minimum preset. And that's fine. Let's just uh, buy it. And then we are going to discover the... Let's see, it's down here. Let's go to Guidance. We're gonna go there, discover that. So after we've uh, discovered the station, we should get trade offers from it, uh, which means we can order our scout ship to buy three antimatter cells. Then we can order the ship to fly into the specified area. Then it will blow up and will be good. We can continue the mission.
and here we are. Entering system. Path to profit. Increased Delati Company reconnaissance. Hmm. So since we didn't get any guild missions from the free split patriarch families, uh, we might consider joining up with another faction. I would still like to get my relationship up to 20 with a split uh, faction just to be able to have access to their uh, wonderful, wonderful capital ships. Um, so that we can afford to purchase them. Um, or we can get the blueprints for their shipyards so that we can build them ourselves when we, you know, grow big enough. So let's go for our little, little scout. Where are you? Oh, you're not building. Why aren't you building? What are you missing? What are you missing? Let's say we want to buy a ship. We wanted to buy like what we just selected. And you're missing hull parts. Oh. All right. I wonder if I can uh, go and deliver some hull parts to that station. Let's see here. Hull parts. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. Let's see here. If I have my Dragon Rider, I can buy 600 something. Let's see, let's just, uh, let's uh, get up, let's allow our captain to take over, she's gonna go ahead and Hello. buy some hull parts for us, I think. Stop the guidance. So, let's see here. Do you have any information? You are not currently doing anything. Yeah. So, with you selected, you're going to go ahead and purchase some. Uh, I think I selected my boa to go ahead and purchase some. Let's see here. You're gonna execute this trade, which is in pro yeah. I selected my boa to do it. Oh well, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. So let's uh, let's trade with you. Let's get you some hull parts. Alright, in the meanwhile, let's uh, check if we can do some missions. Not really here, no. Hello. Hmm. This was not what I had in mind. So let's uh, take a look at these other stations. Maybe they have a mission for us that we can do in the meanwhile. Because sooner or later a trading ship should come by anyway to buy some hull parts and sell it to the station. So I'm not worried that, you know, it's, it's not gonna get built ever. But uh, if I can fix it myself, I will.
So that's the whole part of factory. That station has a mission for me, so let's see what that is. Uh, it's fixing, fixing some leaks. You know what, why not? It's something to do. Mission interrupted. New mission activated. It's something to do. And we get to discover another station. So, let's slow down. Out in our spaceship, space suit here. So let's get over here. Let's actually stop the scan mode. Let's just try and repair. And there we are. So let's repair the ship while we're flying in. And here we are. Hello. So let's get back down to these uh, stations over here and see if they have any new missions for us. If not, we're just gonna travel to another system and get another mission. I want to get our relationship with the Taladi nice and high. Maybe they will even give us some guild missions, which the split refused to do. I am highly offended. Okay, so the Taladi defense platform has a mission for us. So let's uh, have a gander over there and, uh, and see what it is.
So let's get the station within sensor range and have a look at what the mission is. Satellite repair work. Why not? I knew I could count on you. So, is there any progress on our ship? There is, it's done. Great. So, you should go... Let's see here, Gilmont. You're gonna go to the antimatter, you're gonna trade with it. You're gonna buy exactly three. And then, you are going to fly to to here Gilmont you're gonna fly to here I'm gonna repair the satellite and then I'm also flying back to the mission area great Now if we're lucky, since we gave the order to buy and sell some hull parts here in Tilati Space to our BOA, the BOA will fly from Split Space to Tilati Space, finding all the jump gates and connections in between so that we have a path that we can follow on our way back. Alternatively, we could just, um, we could just set a guidance point ourselves to Split Space and uh, find the way uh, through that method, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of lazy as I said, so it's better if it's just if it's just been done for us. So let's get a bit closer. Let's drive a bit closer. This ship is so big and so clumsy. Bit closer. Come now. Come now. Closer. There we are. There we are. Get up. Get into the spacesuit, aim up, repair the thing, and let's dock. Oh, let's save the game first. Docking granted. All right, let's get in. Hello. All right, so let's uh, get back to our main mission. Let's set it to active. Alright, we should get things moving at a quick pace momentarily. We just need our ship to pick up some antimatter cells and then we can fly it over to the location in which Rapid it will exchange. explode. So let's have a look here. Where are you and are you going? Yes.
Alright, this is a nice distance to have. So let's wait for our um, Guillemont Sentinel to finish its mission. Because it's gonna... It's going to drive over here. Let's have a drive here. Yeah. And that should be good. So... Greetings. Let's just uh, stargaze for a bit. I do like these new split ships. Oh. Hello. Hmm. I do like this game. It's very quiet, very peaceful. So while we wait, we might Hello. as well go crystal hunting, so let's go do that. Let's be on the lookout for Blinky Boys. And if we can find them, that's wonderful. Well, I won't be finding much in this fog, but we can try anyway. Ah, I see my frame rates getting a bit choppy. I hope uh hope the recording's still doing fine. It seems like the recording is getting uh, worse when uh, the game is struggling on the GPU front. So uh not that it makes much sense because I switched over to CPU recording, but yeah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm not seeing much in terms of Blinky Boys. Oh! Did I just fly past the Blinky Boy? And we're already over 2 mil again. This passive income, it's great. Uh, but our next target, I think, will probably be in the uh, tens of million. Or maybe we should uh, get ourselves a little fleet of uh, large mineral uh, ships. We might buy that in Talati Space, get some uh, groundwork done here in Talati Space. We'll see about that. But I'm thinking since we already know where the shipyard is and where the wharf is here in Tavati's base, it's uh, easy to build up relationships and uh, build a power base here as well. So the Guillemont just uh, finished buying the antimatter cells and it should uh, make, be making its way back here, uh, which is wonderful. We have 16 relationships with the free families. We're uh, inching closer to that uh, 20 relationship goal. It's just gonna take, uh, take a while. But now that we have uh, uh, mining ships in their sectors, that's just going to keep mining and selling and mining and selling. Um, yeah, that relationship should come 
on its own because a relationship is built every time you make a trade uh, and since we have trades going on all the time well we get relationship points all the time Increased Teladi Company reconnaissance, reconnaissance in Grand Exchange. Hmm. Maybe they're looking to expand, build some new stations. I don't know. Let's get a bit closer here because I know um, that the Boron is going to ask us to be like, kind of close. Uh, to the explosion. He's, he's going to specify a waiting place uh, while his little bomb goes off. So where is our Gilmont ship? Is it on its way? Yeah, it's in the same sector, it's just cruising along. So I think what we'll do actually is uh, we'll get out of system first because the Gilmont, if we're in system, it's gonna render all the asteroids and the Gilmont's gonna crash in like 15 of them before it makes its way over to us. So I'm gonna get out of system so that asteroids are not rendered and the Gilmont just flies in a straight line towards the goal. And then we'll uh, we'll jump back in uh, like five seconds or something. So let's go here. Entering Grand Exchange Four. Let's wait five seconds. And let's go back. We're probably going to have to spend some uh, credits building up our station, because, spoiler, we're going to get a station. Uh, it's uh, going to randomly pop out from uh, the uh, rift that is created by the uh, ship that he, the Boron is about to blow up. And then we'll unlock research, which is great. That's going to allow us to teleport around and... Uh, get some upgrades to our ships, and uh, yeah, a lot of good stuff. So if we get a nice big upgraded capital ship, we're gonna, we're gonna do as Doom Guy does, we're gonna rip and tear. So our ship, it seems has stopped shy of the specified area. Why? Maybe it crashed into an asteroid. Because it's waiting over here. Oh, it's driving ever so slowly. Alright. It's just gonna have to take its time. That's just how it is. Seen on mounting defense in Matrix 9. Well, at least they're being pushed. Oh, come on. I, 
kind of regret just putting uh, Mark 1 engines on this guy. Oh well. He should soon be here. It's uh, not a big problem. Let's see, is it inside the mission area yet? No, but very soon. Be sure that the ship is evacuated. It is far too early in this experiment for needless casualties. So I need to get the pilot out. I can't remember doing this before, but then again, maybe I'm kind of dumb. Um, can I order you to jump out? Can I help? Uh, more. Uh, work somewhere else for me. I want you to go to my selected workplace cannot be reached. All right, let's go uh, over to him. Very good. We seem to be ready for the initial test. I would okay. Clear the area as All right. Let's uh, sacrifice our pilot. Why not? I have successfully interfaced with the ship. I am increasing the output of the power plant while reducing the shielding of the antimatter containers to see if that affects the anomaly. Wonderful! We are getting a reaction. The ship is beginning to show strain but I will continue to push it further. Keep your distance. The tear is expanding. It's about to reach the ship. The antimatter will most likely detonate. All right. And there's the big boom. And out of the boom comes the Station. There it is. What is this? Some large artificial structure. So this is what was on the other side of the tear. It does seem that our investigation has led to some potentially groundbreaking discovery. Now, my friend, this is where we must proceed with both haste and caution. While I admit, tearing through space-time with an antimatter explosion was far from restrained, we now have something in front of us of untold scientific value. We would be fools to continue carelessly. For the benefit of the universe, let us hurry and claim our prize before someone can beat us to it. I'll be damned if some passing Taladi junk dealer decides to break it down for spare parts, or worse yet, the Ministry of Finance Science Division. I will begin to interface with the structure remotely. Do you mind flying around it so I can make some additional readings? Let's start over here. All right. You're the boss. These markings are not quite as alien as I would have expected from such an object. Could this be a top secret installation? Oh my. I do hope we haven't hijacked some distant Terran station. Let's see here. It does seem somewhat unfinished, and the materials it is constructed of are quite strange. Even the computer pathways I am navigating are unconventional. 
All right. No. No. I cannot yet ascertain the function of this asteroid like mass in regards to the rest of the station. Given these readings, it may well be a power source. How interesting. Wonderful. You see, the station is now under our control. We have access to much of its systems, although some are so alien, I will need to take the time to investigate them further. All right. There appear to be connection points for additional station modules, and they do seem to conform to our standards. If we wish to physically interface with the station without damaging it, I suggest constructing an area to land. Oh, it appears I must go. My split employers are approaching, and they do sound agitated. I will be in touch when I am able. As I have said, see if you are able to merge that technology with our own by building a dock. Take care, my friend. All right. And building a dock we will do in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.